This time let's look at the student's placement screen. You can get to it by either clicking on a placement on the student's home screen or clicking on the placements tab at the top of the screen. Any placements will be listed at the top of the screen and to view an existing one click on it and its contents, its details will be displayed. Each placement has a title which you give it, an industry type chosen from the various types of industries, a vocational pathway, a start date and end date, duration, day, hours per week, times note etc. You can put in a clothing comment, a, a basic comment, the employer details, you can choose an employer from your list of employers. I'll shut that down, having already chosen one, and any details associated with that employer will show below. To add a new employer, you don't click here. You have to go to Configuration and Pop-ups. To select a particular range of employers from a particular type, you have a filter. So if you wanted hairdressing employers, they would be shown by selecting that particular category but we'll leave it at the marquee category at this stage. On the right hand side here we have a range of tabs. The first one deals with costs associated with this placement and to add a new cost you simply click in the date field, add a description, put in its cost put in its category, well, this is equipment, if you have an order number put that in, if it's been paid click in there, if it hasn't click again, invoice number, and that's how you add a cost to a student. The second tab on the middle section here is uh, transport and you can record the transport to the, tr the placement chosen from the pop-up list and transport from the placement and any details of that. Once again, to configure a pop-up list, visit Configuration Pop-ups. The third tab is the information relating to the outcome or withdrawn status of the placement. The date that it's withdrawn, the date it's reported, destination, contact person, this information goes through on the three-month student outcome form. The outcome code can be chosen and any comment can be put in here. The next tab is Notes, where you just keep a general section of notes. You can also keep comments for a report comment and an employer comment, and these can be embedded, embedded in documents printed concerning the student or the placement. The final tab is New Information concerning the TEC report. They require the outcome for employment and the outcome from education, and whether or not this is a teen parent funding placement. At the bottom of the screen are the standards attached to this placement and this placement has several and some of them have results. You can enter the results by simply adding, typing them in there. The provider is chosen from the pull down list of providers. The assessor is chosen from the pull down list of assessors. Any particular cost associated with that placement can be entered in this column. And then we have a range of other columns. The order number, whether or not it's been paid, and the invoice number are optionally displayed. You'll remember that under configuration you can turn these three off. On the right are several date columns where you can enter dates relating to particular aspects of, the, of each unit. To delete a unit from a student, just right click anywhere and you'll be asked that you wish to confirm to remove that standard from the placement. To select st new standards to go in, there are two ways you can do it. You can type in the unit number and the version number, but perhaps the easiest is to select standards. There they all are and you can start typing in the number of the one you want. and let's say it's uh, that one and that one and so I'll attach the selected standards and you'll find that they've now been added to the bottom there they are 
and if we know the student's results we'll put those in too. At the very bottom of the screen you can see the pathways that these particular standards contribute to. In fact all six pathways are lit up so amongst these various standards all of the pathways are covered. You can add a new placement to a student by clicking this button which will clear out the existing one and allow you to start typing a new one. You can delete this placement if you so wish. If you wish to attach a virtually identical placement to another student you can copy this placement. It's now been memorized. You can go to the student that you want to attach it to. Antonio, do you wish to add it to this student? Yes I do. It's now been added. And do I want to keep it memorized to add it to another student? No I don't. On the right hand side of the screen there are two more blue bars. The first one relates to forms completed. Click on it and out come a number of forms. Now in testing I've actually printed all of them. But to print any of these particular forms you simply click on the relevant button. This, the ticks are simply to keep a track of which ones you've already printed. Once you've finished with the screen click on the arrows or hide this panel. The other, pan the other blue bar at the bottom of the screen is the learning plan. And in this area you can record goals and tasks and dates they are due to be completed or whether they have been completed. Any other assessment notes, these are rather spurious because I've been testing things here. And any workplace visits that you have planned or, or completed. We'll hide this panel once we've finished. Well that about completes the description of the student's placement screen so we'll turn our attention next to the courses screen.